so Matt Brown is on his way to the beach, but he's not going sunbathing. Witnesses have reported a dog which has been locked in a car for three hours. Dogs and cars are very serious. You know, they can just go within 20 minutes. You know, a dog can just go. It doesn't take long for Matt to find the car. It's parked in the middle of the beach in blazing sunshine. He seems to be all right. He's panting a little bit. The owner has left windows open, but the dog has no water and no space to move around. All RSPCA patrols are equipped with digital thermometers to check the temperature inside cars, and the temperature in this car is rising fast. It's 76 Fahrenheit now, so it's going up, it's going up. It isn't sunlight, you can see, so it's getting it's heating up. The few witnesses are saying they've been here for three hours, that's not good enough as far as I'm concerned. In the 15 minutes since Matt arrived, the temperature has risen by 5 degrees. If the dog was left in the car all day, it would certainly die. It's coming out, that, that dog's been there three hours. There's no excuse as far as I'm concerned. Matt needs a qualified vet to agree that the dog needs to be rescued. Then he can call the police to break into the car. It's a call of the vets now to describe the uh, condition, the condition of the car, how hot it is, and see if the needs of the animal have been met. The inside of the car is 81, 82 you know, Fahrenheit. Dog's pong, panting. And there's no water in this vehicle whatsoever for this poor dog. Well, I've been here for, say, 15 minutes, and apparently this dog's been like this for three hours. Sounds. All right, cheers for that. Thanks. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, the vet said that's been in long, long enough, far long enough. The police are quickly up the scene. Hiya. Are you all right? 82.4 Fahrenheit. It'll only get worse. I'll teach them a lesson because they shouldn't be doing it. They shouldn't believe in dogs and cars. There's no water. There's no excuse. Everyone is in agreement. This dog needs to be rescued. The windows left open by the owner allow the police to reach in to open the door rather than smashing a window. And when the police attempt to get the dog out, they find that not only was it trapped in the car with no water, it was tied to the baby seat on a very short leash. <laughs> when Matt gives the dog water, it's clear just how thirsty it had become in the hot car. Straight to the water, that's saying that it's hot, dehydrated. Say no more. You know, shouldn't be like that. That's how hot that's how hot water happens. Because he's getting dehydrated, you see. He's a thirsty boy. He's drunk that, that's a bottle there. I've pulled half of it on him, but I don't give it off. Matt has to get the dog to a vet quickly to make sure it fully recovers from its ordeal. The police will stay with the car and wait for the owner to reappear. Despite being out of the car for 30 minutes, the dog is still fighting hard. Vet Owen Darby takes its temperature to see just how overheated this dog has become. Normally a dog's temperature is about 101, 101 and a half, and her temperature is just about 105, you know, so it is quite high. I think another hour probably would have been appropriate life-threatening, you know, so definitely, you know, good news removed. The dog will be kept to the vet surgery to be monitored for any lasting effects of being locked in a hot car. Back at the beach, the owner has returned to their car to find no dog and two police officers waiting for them. So, he's come 15 minutes later. Uh, so he's been arrested. He's only got himself to blame. He can't blame the RSPCA. He can't blame the police. He can't blame anybody apart from himself for leaving that dog in that car. The owner of the dog will be questioned by the RSPCA and could be prosecuted for animal cruelty.